Niccolò Machiavelli, the late 15th century to early 16th century Italian diplomat and political theorist, doesn't look much of a revolutionary, yet his book The Prince, written in 1513, turns much of the established advice for rulers on its head. Traditional books on how prince should behave lay out ethical principles that guide a ruler's thinking and decision-making, such as how should a ruler pursue a virtuous life. The unspoken assumption here is that good moral behaviour by a ruler will be rewarded by the loyalty and appreciation of his citizens. But Machiavelli takes a very different approach. He says that these previous books deal with republics and principalities which have never in truth been known to exist. They're illusory, and as such the advice these books offer is also illusory, and is not based on what actually happens in the real world. In contrast, Machiavelli draws on real examples from ancient history and from his practical experience working with the rulers of the Florentine Republic, and he will represent things as they are in real truth. And that leads to some startling assumptions and conclusions. For example, he agrees in an ideal world, rulers would live virtuously according to Christian values, but in the real world, if a ruler acts as he should do, he will end up destroying himself. In fact, if a ruler wants to hold on to power, he must be prepared not to be virtuous. And some of the things he does, although they are vices, will actually be more successful in helping him maintain his control on power. But why is this? Well, it's because, according to Machiavelli, the general public are ungrateful, fickle liars and deceivers. This means that a prince who wants to act virtuously in every way necessarily comes to grief among so many who are not virtuous. But he goes even further. He argues that adopting morals that appear to be vices will actually bring him security and prosperity. For example, he asks whether it is better to be loved or feared. He suggests that it is, of course, preferable to be loved. But he concludes that if forced to make a choice, it's far better to be feared than loved. And why is this? Well, it's because the public will support a prince when things are good, but will desert him when they see danger coming. And this is because... Men worry less about doing an injury to one who makes himself loved than to one who makes himself feared. Again, a prince ideally wants to be loved and certainly shouldn't want to be hated. But if he is to maintain power, he needs to be able to ensure his people are loyal in times of trouble. And the best way to achieve this outcome, argues Machiavelli, is by doing something bad, making them fear him. Another virtue that can become a vice is generosity. In fact, according to Machiavelli, there's nothing so self-defeating as generosity. Now, this is because when a prince spends money, it almost inevitably only benefits a limited number of people. And after he has spent it, he must then raise taxes on everyone to pay for that spending. And as a result, the majority then hate him, the opposite of what he intended. So the best route is to be a miser. In fact, for a prince, counterintuitively, miserliness is one of those vices which sustain his rule. And why is this? Because he won't have to tax his subjects or steal their money and their land to pay for his lavishness. So what appears to be bad is in fact good. Prior to Machiavelli, it also seemed obvious that a prince should be compassionate. But Machiavelli argues that it's also possible to make bad use of compassion. For example, by refusing to suppress riots and disorder, you can create a great deal of suffering. Now that's why he thinks that whilst the ruler of the Romania region, Cesare Borgia, was accounted cruel, nevertheless, this cruelty of his reformed the Romania. So perversely, when you are a prince killing a few people to restore order, it's more compassionate than allowing disorder to continue and perhaps causing more deaths. It seems counterintuitive, but when in power, princes are required to make such choices. Similarly, when under threat and given the choice between following the law or applying force, the prince should choose force. This is because the law often proves an inadequate defence when facing enemies. 
In this sense, he needs to have the ability to be like a lion, to be bold and courageous. But this does not mean that the courageous prince will necessarily succeed every time. So he also needs to be like the fox. He needs to be able to get what he wants via cunning. So having both qualities, a prince can recognise traps, like a fox, but also frighten off competitors and enemies, like a lion. Which leads on to lying and honesty. Machiavelli might be seen in this context as the father of fake news, and one of his most controversial recommendations is that one must know how to colour one's actions and to be a great liar and deceiver. Now, whilst it was ideal for a prince to tell his people the truth, Machiavelli maintains that princes who have achieved great things need to be able to lie, because other people lie. And why is this necessary? Because the priority is to maintain power and order in society. So whatever works is the most effective solution. But in a nod to tradition, he does say that a prince should appear to be compassionate, faithful to his word, kind, guileless and devout. And in a perfect world, he would also be like this. But in this imperfect world, he will only maintain his power by having the capacity to do the opposite. In this sense, Machiavelli is an original and revolutionary thinker, with an influence that has spread far beyond late 15th and early 16th century Florence, and has informed and provoked debate for over 500 years. And his ongoing relevance is because the questions he raises are profound. Can we trust our leaders? And, as importantly, can they trust us? I think we know what Machiavelli would say. Well, in a perfect world, yes. In this world, perhaps not just yet. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe now so that you never miss any of my future posts.